Africa, my beginning. Africa, my destiny. Africa, my pride. Africa, my soil. Africa, my soul. Africa, you're my beloved continent. People choose alliance than aggression. People choose Africa. People choose legislation than the lawlessness. People choose music than murder. People choose nation building. People choose outreach than onslaught. People choose Oscar and Peter Oliver Tambo. People choose patriotism, not a plunder. People choose chance of freedom. Chance of freedom. Chance of freedom. The launching of Dr. Posa's poetry anthology, Chants of Freedom, is a historically resonant, if not evocative, occasion. For through such creative lens, we who live in the post-apartheid South Africa are afforded a unique way of looking into our pre-democratic past. Let us therefore be thankful that we had poets such as Dr. Posa to reflect back to us the highs and lows of the struggle in ways only poets can. I'm here to receive wisdom from a, an elder who was in exile, who stood the test of time. Most of the time, we've got very good messages, but the problem is that we're speaking to ourselves. His capacity to speak and write in different languages then puts him in a better position to speak to different constituencies, different people, and even people who may not be interested in political poetry. The collection of poems that you're celebrating tonight surfaced largely as a result of research for a biography that myself and my fellow academic, Dr. Shepa Molloy, were undertaking. He had found or rediscovered 40 boxes of personal correspondence and sometime during the next two days found neatly stapled together the present collection of poems. Dr. Pozza represents for me the conscience of our struggle. I find poetry very emotional way to communicate some of these difficult things and I'm very very proud of him for coming out and bearing his soul to the world as he has. I'm the pre-exile baby. I was a casualty of a civil war that I didn't understand which didn't mean much to me except that it's taken a parent. To find even some of his writings and his tributes where he does say I acknowledge that you suffered this with me. This is what we suffered when you were screaming that pain, I was screaming that pain. We're here because of his ability to write and express himself through poetry. And um, uh, yeah, and in Afrikaans poems, history poems, all poetry that has to do with the history of South Africa, which is unrewritable, which was obviously written in those times and was relevant to those times and is even more relevant today. He inspires us and it's good to create unity and um, support each other's dreams because he always supports our dreams. A lot of my friends were actually writing exams based on his poems when I was in matric and um, before this launch my him and I were actually going through his poetry before the book was actually published. He's kind, he supports all of us, he's always there for us if we need help, he's the kindest that I've ever met. The poem Gold brings to light the essential link Posa draws between identity, political and moral orientation. I'm right down the belly of the earth, I mine you. I left my dear wife and the little beautiful ones in search of you gold. Dr. Posa, I know him for many, many years, before even he went to exile. If you've got the problem, he can advise you. Even if you have some challenges in life, he can guide you. So it's how we love it.
when I published my first anthology, Diary Och van Anald, this one, it was launched by Nelson Mandela and F.W. de Klerk. Today, Chance of Freedom is yet launched by another president. Don't mistake the hatred for apartheid for the hatred of Africans. And it's a mother tongue. It's also my mother tongue today. What is the meaning of freedom? What are the responsibility of a free nation? What are the responsibility of a liberation movement? What are the responsibility of all of us as free people? And there are many poems here who were written 30 years ago, who remain even relevant even today. Hold hands, dear brother. Embrace good, dear sister. Tomorrow becomes to us all to rebuild and transform from the ashes of segregation to a new edifice of non-racialism. She belongs to us all. Let us toy toy together quietly to a common future. One South Africa, one nation, one citizenship, one future. Thank you very much. <laughs>